forecast. Well, sky is brightening up nicely. A little bit of an orange yellow glow here as we look off to the west. I think that is New Bedford. Yeah. Yeah, looking off to the east rather, and we are looking at mainly clear skies. Let's take a look at Narragansett. Similar kind of view here. Bit of an orangey, yellow, pinky glow to the sky. And a few clouds out there, but mainly dry clouds. Now looking at the radar, we actually do have some snow showers being picked up. Working across northern Rhode Island, kind of falling apart as they work their way eastward and uh, some more in western Rhode Island. Might just be a couple of flurries and that's it. A lot of that's probably not reaching the ground. Our threat tracker for today and Monday and Tuesday, low chance of anything overly impactful. But today, the coldest of the next seven days. We're in the upper 20s and lower 30s, currently 27 in Coventry, 32 in Newport, New Bedford at 36, up in Glendale and Smithfield. We're in the upper 20s in uh, Smithfield. Wind from the west northwest. 15 miles an hour. Look at that feels like temperature. 18 degrees is what it feels like currently. Satellite radar picture. It's a smattering of clouds, a couple of flurries here and there, but generally quiet. Do have one front coming on through right now. We had another one come on through yesterday morning, brought in the drier weather. This one's going to really help to reinforce the cold air into southern New England. Let's take a look at it all with our hour by hour forecast. Blend of sunshine and clouds today. Winds really picking up as we go through the day, but we're staying dry right into the evening hours. Clear skies tonight. We're looking at sunshine to start your day on Monday and the winds will be lighter too. And as a result, we're looking at temperatures much milder, mild and sunny in the afternoon and staying quiet right into your Monday evening. But let's talk wind chills. I don't want to uh, in March, but we're doing it and temperatures will feel like they're in the upper 20s uh, in Providence, mid 20s in Coventry. It'll feel like 25 at 6 p.m. this evening and even uh, early tomorrow morning. Those wind chills will be in the low to mid 20s, but the winds fortunately will be quieter first thing tomorrow morning. All right, here's your forecast for today. Looking at some clouds around this morning, getting kind of windy temperatures in the upper 30s, feeling like the 20s with that wind chill factor. And then for tonight, down about 25 degrees. Winds quieting down, and that sets us up for a nice day tomorrow. Looking at sunshine, mixing with a few clouds here and there, but generally mainly sunny. Temperatures should be topping out. That should say about 50 degrees. Uh, we are looking at uh, temperatures to be comfortable tomorrow. Here's that seven day forecast. Uh, looking at spring to arrive tomorrow, early in the evening. On Tuesday, we're still looking at sunshine and still some mild temperatures at about 56 degrees. Wednesday, mild and dry gets a little bit more unsettled as we have a frontal system working through Thursday and into next Saturday, but it could be uh, rather mild, especially on Friday. Maybe you're making a run at 60 degrees, but we will have the chance for some rain showers in the area. WPRI.com, that's where you can go for your updated forecast anytime, day or night. So on the St. Joseph's Day, looking okay in terms of precipitation, but kind of cold. A little chilly and those low temperatures throughout next week. They just keep rising, getting a little milder and milder. Is that time of year? Well, but there are, there'll be some weeks where it gets a lot colder. It's kind of that back and forth time of year, so I can't take the plastic off my windows yet. So. I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, OK. I was hoping, I was maybe hoping to couple, get to that. Maybe set. just a couple of them. Open them up and let that fresh air in. Oh, well, that'll be enjoyable. And the bugs, of course, too.